ups and downs of the daily stock market action take a back seat to the ups and downs of getting through the day for millions of American families. The American middle class is getting squeezed hard right now. It's an especially big problem in some communities. Our report from NBC's Christina Brown. Every day, it's an early start for Joyce and Tracy Willis. I'm glad Friday. They steal a few quiet moments together before their toddler wakes up. And before going to their staggered work shifts, Joyce leaves first. Then Tracy gets their son TJ off to daycare. Their hectic All schedule, right. the price they Thank pay you. for the American dream of home ownership right. in this new subdivision Woo. outside Richmond, Virginia. My parents didn't have a lot. So for me, being here was a testimony to what my father taught me. Now he has his own son to help care for. But a new study shows just how fragile the financial security of the middle class really is. It found nearly 80% of middle class families would not be able to cover their bills for just three months if they lost their income. And that number is even higher for Latinos and African Americans. African American and Latino communities are often more vulnerable in an economic crisis because they, they the Factors that support stability are often less present in, in their households. And that's because many in these communities rely on their home as their sole investment. The Willises are actually yeah, doing better than most. System. With her insurance job and Tracy's at a Richmond tobacco company, they make more than $100,000 a year. They could survive five trying. months without income, Save a few dollars. Mm. but they know that's not enough. Whether budgeting for groceries, retirement, or a future education, the hardest thing to do, experts say, is also the most important, to live within your means. For help with that, they went to a financial advisor. We're conditioned to spend, we're not conditioned to save. He developed a savings and retirement strategy, but Joyce still worries. You want to just put all your money under your mattress because you feel like that's the safest place for it. Another working family <laughs> saving for a financial future despite the odds. Christina Brown, NBC News, Richmond, Virginia.